been so much fun so far. Thanks. I uh, I came here from Boston. Before oh, that, you, sure. Uh, <laughs> he was like, "Woo!" <laughs> uh, before that, I uh, moved there from Kentucky. I grew up in a really small town in Kentucky on a farm, actually, which was really weird for me because. I've always looked like a gay little boy, you know? <laughs> yeah. And my family, like, they always looked like just a normal Kentucky farm family. So our family pictures from when I was a kid look so weird. Like, those pictures look like my actual family, like, sent me to that farm to turn me straight. <laughs> <laughs> my hometown is a very weird place. <laughs> One time I went there and I picked up a newspaper. And there was a front page article about a gay couple because they just like came to visit. <laughs> <laughs> the article was like, Jim and Sam were so brave for coming here. <laughs> Their favorite part about the town was that it was so small, they knew they could leave quickly if they needed to. <laughs> People say some weird things to me when I go there too, like uh, one time I was there and someone asked me if I was related to Ellen. <laughs> I was like, that's not even how it works, what? <laughs> people, uh, people assume a lot that I'm a lesbian. I'm not, but I am actually bisexual. And when I say bisexual, I mean like 80-20. <laughs> And that 20% is like me being sad at night sometimes. <laughs> like, men for me are kind of, it's kind of like fast food. <laughs> like, if I'm drunk at 2 a.m. and I'm really hungry, I'll have it. Uh, it's, it's the easiest thing to get that late at night. <laughs> Uh, I was scared to tell my parents for a while that I was bisexual, um, but what really helped me is one night I was drinking with my sister, and then later that night I walked by the bathroom to find my drunk sister on the floor crying, and when I asked her what was wrong, she said, I think I'm a reptile. <laughs> and then I was not afraid to tell my parents I'm bisexual. <laughs> oh, you're bisexual? <laughs> Please, our other daughter needs heat lamps. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I told them, and they were very supportive. Their only thing was like, they're like, so Caitlin, uh, why are you telling us this? Like, do you have a girlfriend? And I was like, what? No. And they were like, well, do you have a boyfriend? And I was like, what? No. <laughs> And they were like, so you're telling us that you're interested in double the amount of people and you're still alone? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's some hurtful math. <laughs> so, uh, I dated a man one time and it was confusing for everyone. Uh, it was, uh, like, we would get some weird reactions. We went to a bagel shop one time, and there's this older woman at the bagel shop, and she kept calling me young man, <laughs> which is like so fair. Okay. <laughs> but then she asked if my ex boyfriend was my brother, and he is black, so uh, I was like, oh, I guess this woman is a hero, actually. Like, she doesn't see race, <laughs> she doesn't see gender. Like, she might not see at all, actually. Uh, she might be super blind. <laughs> I didn't get the right bagel. <laughs> this has been a great show so far. I did a show recently, and this other comic on the show, Mel Comic, he told me that if I wanted to do better in comedy, I needed to, like, grow my hair out and be more feminine. <laughs> yeah. He was like, because the way that you look, like you're making a statement. I was like, seriously, dude? A statement? Like, what even is the statement? That I want to go skateboarding with Peter Pan? <laughs> 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 you know? So he was like implying that I'm not feminine. I think I'm extremely feminine because you know what the most feminine thing is, is uh, Getting your looks criticized by men. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. That's great.